Good morning, everyone. And today I have Chef K. Thiru sir uh, from Welcome Group in Graduate School of Hotel Administration. Very good morning, sir. Morning, Arun. Yeah. So talking about uh, the school itself, the pedagogy and the learning experiences ensures that the student learn with open opportunities. As such, the school imparts quality education through its undergraduate and postgraduate programs. The institute also offers certification programs, including sommelier certification level one and two from International Sommelier Guide, uh, as part of its undergraduate curriculum. For such a robust curriculum and academic excellence, the industry has regularly recognized the institute for its effort. Consequently, the institute has been ranked first as Supreme Hotel Management Institute of India by Global Human Resource Development Center. Second among top 50 college in hotel management in India by the week. Second among the top 10 hotel management college in India in Outlook. So I, I would like to congratulate uh, you and your group, sir, for such a phenomenal success. And uh, thank you. Coming on to uh, sir, uh, so sir has an enthusiastic. Uh, sir is an enthusiastic of gastronomy and has over 29 years of experience in industry and academia. Recognized for his uh, proficiency in the industry, Mr. K. Thiru has mentored many young culinary professionals in India. Under his able guidance, WG SHA Manipal constituted the Department of Culinary Arts in the year 2011. And today, I'm very proud to say that it is one of the best culinary school in the world. Um, so, sir, um, after uh, having uh, held so many key positions in your esteemed institute throughout your professional career. What are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector? Um, well, uh, you know, uh, any profession when you are, uh, it's important for you to uh, stay connected with your colleagues. You know, similarly, it's applicable for academic setup also. So uh, what normally I do in as personally, I uh, connect with uh, all my academic fraternity. I always have attitude, uh, you know, uh, learn from the best. And because uh, every institute has it, their own USP, you know, it's uh, always uh, you should get connected with the uh, um, see that uh, other institute what they are doing. So I will, uh, you know, the personally, uh, you know, uh, having spent 29 years, uh, my personal network, which is all industry and academia. Uh, you know, all my well-wishers are from, uh, you know, academia and industry. So on that regular basis, I'm also, uh, you know, as for institute, what we do, uh, you know, it's always, uh, we have academic advisory committee and also we have board of studies. So we invite, uh, you know, academic fraternity, uh, you know, who can give inputs on what process we are doing and uh, some suggestions and uh, guidance for us. We always believe that. So uh, in the in a personal touch, I you know always have chat with them of uh, you know my colleagues of uh, academic fraternity as well as industry professional. On institute, uh, we have academic advisory committee as well as uh, board of studies. And besides that, whenever we do any kind of uh, uh, conference or conclave, I always uh, call uh, you know uh, academy academicians who's excelling in hospitality and culinary and tourism industry. So recently, in the, you know uh, we had conducted uh, various uh, webinars, e-conference. So always we invite people from uh, you know all over the world. So that's how we connect, and then we always believe that you know uh, the learning never stops, and uh, you must uh, get the best of the best from the you know, the leading professionals. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for such a detailed answer, sir. Uh, so like uh, you rightly said, sir, you are being associated with uh, this industry for so long and you have held many positions. So uh, may I ask you to put some highlight on your philosophy of leadership? How do you describe your leadership style? Yes, uh, you know, uh, for me, uh, you know, uh, as far as uh, with Vaksha is concerned, it's an amazing, um, even, uh, you know, I have 29 years experience, I spent my time in industry as well. But um, in Vaksha, uh, I started career as a faculty and rose to principal. 
so it's a great uh, learning for me uh, you know uh, because i started as a faculty i know what uh, your boss would expect from me what your students should you know will expect from uh, you as well as uh, stakeholders the parents and the industry so on that uh, uh, because having started from the base and then rose to the leadership team i always believe that uh, you know because whatever i am today because of um, you know uh, my uh, boss um, you know previous bosses who encouraged me uh, because they given empowerment so the first one i believe that my you know the leadership uh, you know the first one i put uh, forth as a empowerment so you need to give empowerment to your team okay and the second thing uh, it's involvement you know um, you have to involve yourself with uh, day to day operations and as well as you know uh, some, at times you required you know uh, personal uh, which they need some seek some uh, guidance so definitely so i believe uh, empowerment involvement and collaborations because when you work with the team uh, there is always uh, you know um, there is a unique uh, talents you identify from each and every one of them everybody is special uh, everybody is uh, god's creation so the collaborative effort is uh, very much required for the organization growth so i always believe these three things empowerment involvement and collaboration yeah and i think uh, all three are the fundamental pillars for um any leadership style uh thanks for that sir uh so moving on to the school sir how does the curriculum of your school ensure the best practice of industry um see uh some uh, when you talk about uh, our institute uh, we are attached to manipal academy of higher education this is a constituent institute of manipal academy of higher education and uh, you know that uh, manipal institute of uh, you know sorry manipal academy of higher education uh, which is a institute of eminence which is you know uh, given by ministry of human resources uh, so um, having comes on that fold uh, the, the waksha is always unique because uh, we were the pioneer to offer a degree program in the country way back uh, 19 uh, you know 86 when we started and uh, 1987 itc professional collaboration came into that so how we update constantly curriculum uh, we have a lot of flexibility because of deemed to be university number one number two uh, we have uh, enough uh, you know uh, um, you know uh, fundings so we are self sufficient and uh, curriculum is a most important part of uh, you know any institution so we always what we do uh, to the currently all our programs uh the curriculum which is outcome of 29 2018 we did a curriculum conclave now what is curriculum conclave uh see anybody can change the uh, you know curriculum consulting with internally your colleagues and uh, you know you can go ahead with that but uh, what is uniqueness about our curriculum conclave uh, what uh, i did first uh, i divided my faculty teams into senior and junior teams i asked him to come out with a dream curriculum because uh, you know uh, when you have distribution of uh, faculty which is you know some of them are very senior some of them are junior because sometimes the senior faculty have so much of experience the junior faculty comes with a new ideas so that's how you know to gel properly so i divided two teams the next thing what i did i asked my uh, final year students to if you put yourself into you know like you are going to take up this course we just completed 10 plus 2 as a student what you would like to go through the curriculum so come out with a dream curriculum so what we did this process took uh, place almost close to 8 months 8 8 and a half months so first uh, senior faculty have you know asked to do the presentation of what is it which we want to teach them for four year program what we want to teach for three year program uh, similarly for the masters program two year program then similarly we ask students also to do the presentation right uh, you know students have been divided various groups uh, four groups we have divided uh, for the students to come out with the dream curriculum then we had uh, uh, you know we had separate presentation for students and faculty then we asked you know uh, students to you know uh, join us then we did a presentation this is what we would like to roll out then the students did a presentation finally we collated everything and then we had invited uh, industry expert academicians 
and uh, uh, alumni and the students and the parents so the current curriculum if you see that uh, what we rolled out in um, you know uh, 2019 its outcome of 28 in curriculum conclave so involvement of uh, students faculty and parents and the industry professionals and academicians it given lot of opportunities for us to uh, you know uh, discuss and debate what would be you know the employability when you when you focus on curriculum you need to focus on employability uh, you know he or she is graduating after four years or three years how the you know uh, the students are going to get a you know job opportunities in the market so that's very important and also uh, um, there are certain subjects which is uh, you know normally uh, you know we uh, you know generally which is ignored uh, like that's the most important thing is sustainability now right because uh, uh, as a future leader of uh, hospitality and culinary or any business leader uh, they need to know about the sustainability right so the lots of discussion happened then the science of cooking some of us you know uh, you know we uh, students have asked us that sir science of cooking is very important in the culinary because every reaction every ingredient has its own you know the when it when we combine with certain ingredients it behave differently so what is the science behind it then if you put it in a plate it's an art then came into food styling right then something talk about uh, food sociology and anthropology because it's all about telling story today you want to sell your food uh, everybody is preparing food you know with a, a great love and affection but what is you are going to be you know different but you need to tell a story so we included food sociology and anthropology so each and every subject what we included it has some story behind it some lot of discussion and deliberation so after that you know so curriculum uh, it's very important so what we do uh, we always believe that involving stakeholders and uh, you know because it's very important for to strengthen our curriculum yeah i can see a lot of passions there sir and i can certainly feel what all things we are doing very differently uh, so uh, moving the gear sir uh, so education system in india and other foreign countries are structured very differently so in your experience what can an inbound student gain from studying here in your school now uh, see uh, there are other uh, institutes which is affiliated to the private universities or public universities also offering this program but uh, when you talk about what is uniqueness of manipal academy of higher education and waksha uh, it's a purely multidisciplinary learning environment okay right so like uh, my student can do uh, something you know research or a product development which is uh, based on ayurveda or uh, my student can do on uh, something which is the research on how uh, you know the cancer patient after chemotherapy what kind of diet we should suggest okay so uh, when you talk about uh, the opportunities of you know our students i would say that uh, they have uh, in the sky is the limit because uh, we run more than 400 uh, courses uh, in our manipal academy of higher education they don't need to restrict themselves to hospitality exclusively they don't need to restrict them to only exclusively to culinary arts they can explore you know uh, other options to learn from the uh, you know our uh, neighboring institutes what they are offering talking about uh, you know how uh, the you know the education system in india and abroad uh, i think uh, you know uh, the past uh, you know uh, few years um, there tremendous transformation the lot of changes happened in our education system but of course it had its own uh, you know the people are had their own mindset but however uh, i appreciate uh, you know uh, the uh, the effort which is made by the government now the new educational policy is going to be a trend setter and it's going to give uh, you know the global ranking for uh, you know our leading universities in the country because uh, if you see that uh, new educational policy which is well drafted i think uh, when we roll out with um, you know full passion and commitments i think uh, you know the uh, the future uh, india i think we will be in the top of the world 
so i'm sure uh, you know uh, the students also ready to take up that kind of changes of course few parts of india uh, they still they need to understand why this all these changes are happening and we cannot be in comfort zone i know today uh, you have to uh, pitch yourself into the global uh, you know globally what is happening so on that note government is taking various initiative definitely you will see that lot of changes in future yeah and um, i can uh, resonate sir this new education policy uh, will be a game changer for the whole education industry as you rightly said uh, so sir if you can shed some more insight into how your uh, school could be more welcoming to the students of different races or economic backgrounds uh see um, um i think uh, when i was just uh, talking about uh, what is unique about waksha we were the first college to offer a degree program in the country till then in 1986 uh, you know uh, across india the hotel management education was only a highest qualification is a diploma right if you starting from uh, our journey uh, you know we completed 35 years so if you see that uh, the geographical distribution of our students from across pan india uh, you know we had we have students from every state right every state so uh, ours is a complete residential program of course now we are giving option students to you know choose their own accommodation outside but otherwise uh, you know waksha uh, manipal academy of higher education always encourage uh, students you know uh um, you know uh, we encourage them to come you know uh, as from all kind of background so uh, if you see that currently with uh, 29000 students population in uh, manipal uh, you know uh, our university the total strength it's every every day every year it's keep increasing to more than 400 programs and the students from 68 countries so we offer various scholarships you know um, um you know because students can i know i the list goes on and i can talk about specifically to my institute uh, you know we offer uh, itc scholarship uh, for the meritorious students and uh, we offer dr tmfi scholarship konkani scholarship sage scholarship some uh, there be around uh, 10 to 15 endowments awards so all these uh, you know encourage students to choose our institute and we believe that you know whenever we do admission process we always uh, do lot of uh, you know after the admission so this year when we completed 2021 admissions immediately uh, we have team with us and then we work on that what is the geographical distribution like that which area we need to you know encourage students to come so that you know uh, when students live in a community if somebody is uh, coming from north east somebody is coming from you know uh, north part of india western part of india it's a you know win win situation for students as well as institute to mix and learn different culture and uh, different cuisines and uh, you know uh, you could see that uh, you know what are the different talent pool available in across india so on that note a leadership team of uh, manipal academy of higher education and itc always we have a system in place to you know uh, every year to ensure that uh, how we can increase our you know uh, students spread from across india and as well as abroad i think uh, uh, you rightly said sir diversity and inclusion is becoming quite important and uh, yes. our increased focus uh, is uh, in the, in the right place i would say uh, for example uh, some of the students uh, you know uh, Uh, one of my culinary art student uh, uh, she came from uh, uh, you know uh, um, botswana right and uh, with her reference there are so many students are willing to come now okay when she came here you know it was uh, uh, she totally could uh, you know uh, surrender herself to learn our indian culture and in fact uh, uh, whenever we do hostel festival she would uh, prefer to attire that uh, on you know uh, if it is the festival which celebrated south part of india or ganesh chaturthi she will attire you know the way supposed to be a, you know maharashtra now they will you know uh, celebrate so uh, it's a big learning for international students as well yeah i'm sure i'm sure sir and people really want to know our culture it's a very rich culture we are having uh so what do you think sir um, should be the workshops 
uh, top priority over the next 10 years? The top priority is uh, number one priority would be, you know, uh, attract the best uh, talent pool, right? And because our the, we should be the the first choice in a, you know, uh, I would say that from the Asia, right? Okay, the student who would like to pursue uh, hospitality, culinary uh, arts, they should choose our institute number one. So, how do you? What is the roadmap for that? You know, uh, you have to strengthen your curriculum. You have to uh, strengthen your infrastructure. You have to have, you know, the faculty team. That's a, you know, human resource is a very important. So we are working. So number one, you know, we should be the first preferred choice for, you know, the student who would like to pursue hospitality and culinary arts. Second thing is that uh, we would uh, see ourselves into global ranking. Already we have world ranking 26th in the world. Now we would like to see, you know, the, the one of the top 15 uh, hotel schools in the world. So that one. And the third one, uh, we need to add more, uh, you know, uh, international accreditations besides our regular government, uh, you know, besides our, uh, uh, you know, Indian regulators. And we would like to add more international accreditation. In the past two years, we got an accreditation from the uh, one is that, uh, you know, World Association of Chef Societies, uh, that is international accreditation for the quality culinary education. And also uh, another one is uh, Indian Federation of Culinary Associations. So that is, you know, they are certified for the quality culinary education. And uh, next one we got from, uh, you know, NSDC, National Skill Development Center. Uh, we have M-Panel for India International Skill Center. That means the uh, government has empaneled us to train on skill based, you know, on hospitality, culinary, you know, professionals. So, uh, you know, these are the three, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, accreditation we got recently to add more. We will be pitching on, you know, uh, lots of international accreditation so that um, the government also encouraging that, uh, you know, every educational institute and the university to be par with the you know the world class university and world class institution so our vision is set in that way that uh, so we would like to add more on international accreditations and another thing is that uh, you know uh, we always you know being in the industry uh, for so many years uh, you know the you know, the uniqueness about waksha is uh, that it was the first college to collaborate with industry academia you know, way back 1987, the college was started in 1986, uh, but 1987, um, because of uh, the visionary of uh, late uh, Mr. Y.C. Devesh, were former ch chairman of ITC Hotels, and uh, our chancellor, Dr. Ramdas M. Pai, came, you know, together, and then they, these are the two visionary visualized that, you know, hospitality, education, need uh, academia, industry academia collaborations. On that note, we have signed an agreement for the 50 years. So it is a unique agreement. We completed 15, uh, 35 years and uh, uh, it will go on. So uh, so the Industry Academy of Collaborations, uh, which is, you know, major, uh, you know, uh, play in major vital role. So uh, now uh, you know that, you know, ITC is, uh, you know, uh, the largest uh, conglomerate uh, business uh, in India. So. Um, the Mahi and IDC leadership team, the vision for, uh, you know, for our institute, we will be, uh, you know, um, improving on our world ranking. We will sustain in national ranking and also, uh, you know, uh, it should be the first preferred choice institute in the Asia for the hospitality and culinary education. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot, sir, for sharing that many information. I'm sure our audience will be much more equipped after hearing this. Uh, so without taking much time, sir, just one more question. Any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? Um, my suggestion would be, you know, uh, aspiring students and uh, who wants to, uh, you know, choose this career. Um, I think, um, you know, uh, they should know that, um, uh, you know, uh, it is number one, it is there you know, uh, preferred choice to do this career, number one, they should, uh, you know, because they, they can take a decision, right? 
so uh, they should have you know clear uh, clarity in their mind number 2 whenever they you know uh, select college uh, they must the three most important things they have to see number one is uh, the most important thing is a uh, curriculum what is that college going to offer them for the next three years or four years the second thing they have to see what you know the faculty setup what is their experience what are their specialization so uh, they should see and the third most important thing is that you know uh, one is the curriculum second is about uh, you know the faculty and the infrastructure you know the curriculum should be supported by good team of faculty and infrastructure and um, then they should interact with the alumni because alumni are the great assets to every institute so uh, you know today uh, you have to you know you you have to be you know extrovert and then you need to be very uh, cordial and you need to be you know uh, communicate well with your friends and family so uh, with uh, technology which is available to everyone i think uh, somebody would like to check about any institute just send a message to you know the alumni about their experience and how do they recommend to this institute so that homework they have to do and uh, uh, and uh, you know the fourth thing is that what i would tell them that uh, they should be flexible okay uh, you know because uh, nobody would have predicted uh, you know five years six years back uh, you know the zomato swiggy uh, kind of business will come and disturb uh, you know it's a kind of disruption in the existing business but one thing they should know that whichever course they are doing it could be hospitality or a culinary but they should know that the they are going to train you know uh, the they should accept that whatever institute vision and it should be aligned with their personal goal goals and also they should be flexible and they should be ready to you know mold themselves as a business manager because we are preparing for you know certain times you don't know what kind of you know the covid 19 nobody would have you know thought of it in the 20 uh, you know uh, 20 when we started in the year because the hospitality travel industry was you know booming and uh, we were you know had our own predictions but uh, this unprecedented time nobody would have visualized that so what is the lesson which we learn from this covid 19 uh, i think everybody whichever profession you are you should be prepared for certain uncertainties so you need to be little flexible and talk about multi skillings right don't restrict yourself into your area of specialization you know um, uh, you can't be jack of uh, you know uh, you know jack of all the trades but however uh, you have to have your own usp and talking about multi skilling so uh, you need to have a little bit of flexibility and you need to have you know a kind of uh, you know uh, specialize on multi skillings and these are very few important things which you need to remember of course this generation is very talented tech uh, technically they are very sound but only thing is that uh, they should be focused because you know if i need to look for some college for my career options there so much information is available take authentic one and somebody who had done a thorough you know uh, research on about that institute what facts and figures which is available in the digital media so uh, check properly and choose an institute thank you thank you sir for all the advice to our students and thanks for taking out time and giving this interview i'm sure it's a very insightful and informative video uh, for all our audience thank you sir thank thank you ankush it's a pleasure talking to you and uh, i take this opportunity to wish you and your team for you know doing this um, uh, uh, great job and i'm sure uh, all these uh, youngsters will get benefit out of from whatever we have discussed today and they can reach me out you know uh, my information is available my email and my contact details are available in the our website otherwise um, uh, my email id thiru.k@manipal.edu please feel free to contact and uh, i give open invitation to all the aspiring students uh you know once we are settled down with the you know this covid 19 and always i uh, i would tell the students that take a break from your school whenever which they are giving break 
come and participate in our class attend my you know if I, my colleagues are taking class you come two to three days attend some of our theory class attend some of our practical class during in your in school so you feel that what is it which we are going to offer for the next three to four years so you you should see that how our classes are happening how our practical session is happening how we are conducting events so open invitation to everybody all that required you just need to reach out us drop an email so that we know that okay someone is going to come and attend our classes aspiring students so that's how you need to because uh, before uh, you take a decision on pursuing any course uh, provided you are you have an opportunity to go and attend some of the classes the institute which you would like to choose go attend some classes if they permit and uh, on behalf of my team i am welcoming aspiring students to come and participate um, you know whichever uh, you know time which is available to you uh, and uh, it should uh, um, you know um, align with uh, our academic activity so reach out to us that is how you can understand real pulse of the faculty students and campus life thank you thank you thank you, thank you.